Okay, uh, morning. Uh. So, now we already uh, break out. Uh, and I think now is a good time uh, for you to start buying uh, put option spreads. I mean, you want to lock in your gains, right? Okay. Uh, maybe you want to buy put option spreads. How many months? Maybe five months is enough. Uh, I think I think five months should be good enough for me uh, at least. And uh, looking at this is going to correct to at least 450. So I'm going to take 460 to 455 lah. That is where I'm going to play it. Okay. So 460 to 455. Uh, is this a call or put ah? So cheap ah. Put ah, really ah. So I buy here. I buy 460 puts, right? That's about 9.7 ah, right? Take the middle price off. Minus. Uh, 455 which is about uh, 8.62 uh, uh, la. so it's 1.08 wow, this is not very nice la. I'm gonna make it longer to June la. yeah June June I think got more more options sometimes you see the numbers they're not very liquid you just skip them find another one better so this one I think is better because the spread is closer so it's 10.6 minus uh, 9.55. So it's 1.05. Sometimes you get better deal when you uh, that one. You see the numbers. This is the outstanding. This is the active one. So a lot of people are actually playing this. Lah, not only me. So $1.05 ah, for uh, per, per that one. And it's cover uh, 555 500, uh, 500 that one. Right. So what we do is take 500 divide by 1.05. Then we get 4.7 times. Lah. Right, just saying lah. Okay, so how much, uh, how many pairs do we need uh, for this? To ensure maybe let's say I have 10,000 of earnings. I want to ensure this. Oh, I just divide by 500 lo. How many pairs do I need? Right, I need about uh, 20 pairs lah. How much do I pay for them? You won't get full cover lah. You still, if anything bad goes wrong, uh, you still got to pay for the insurance ma, but you only pay 20% of it lah. Right. So you need 20 pairs lah basically for 10,000 to insure the full 10,000. But usually we don't insure the whole 10,000 lah. Usually maybe we insure 80%. Lah. So 80, 80, uh, 8,000 we divide by 500. So we need about 16 pairs lah. Right. Okay. 16 pairs of these put option spread. Uh, that's 1,006 only. Right. It's quite a lot lah. It's quite a lot of money lah. Right. It's quite a lot of money lah. But how do I say this? Uh? It's insurance lah. And it doesn't insurance I think most of the time doesn't cover all, right? Maybe you can take just oh I in fact you know I'm just gonna insure maybe half of it. So you just buy ten pairs enough lah. Okay. So this is a very easy insurance lah. It's not like a sure way to earn money is not a sure way to earn money. One thing for sure that uh, I can tell you, uh, this this is the sure way to earn money. La. One thing I can tell you, okay. So usually before you do this, you want to check. Uh, what about four six five to four sixty? Right, you want to eleven point nine three, and then you decide whether it's worth it or not. Ten point six. Okay, so it's one point three three. Okay, but you are more likely to get it lah compared to just now that one the four sixty to four five five. So it's up to you lah, right? Usually I will take the 465 one. This one. I'll take the 1.33 lah. Okay? Because it's more likely to hit mah. Right? Usually I will take this trade. Okay? Or even I can take this one. I can even take this one. The This one. The 470, 465. 13.31 minus 11.93. 1.38 only 5 cents different for $5. I will take the uh, 470 to 465. Right. Okay. You buy at 470, pay this premium, you get this premium you minus. So your max earning is 500 minus the premium you pay, the difference of this. So this is minus 5. So your max earning is 62. Right. It's like an insurance like it's like a hedge lah. That's why when uh, Michael Beauty say he shot the thing by buying the put option and all that shit. Uh, you don't know what is his short positions. 
right? He can be short the the he can make a put option spread like me while I did one. So he may not have lost a lot, you see, right? Okay. So now I think it's the time to buy lah. Now is the time to buy lah. Uh, should I wait until this thing go up and reach this one? Not also can lah. Also can if you want, but it's only four points ah. No point you wait lah, right? You want to wait also cannot you one more I mean one more day like that then it's very really close Delma. Right? I said it is going to touch lah. I said it is I'm going to touch. I was very confident that it was going to touch lah. So what you want to do now maybe is you start buying lor. Right? Buy a bit lah. Don't have to buy a lot lah. Try first ma. Right? You try. So. This is not supposed to be a gamble. Uh, so if you, for those of you who think that oh, uh, Goro is short, so he's 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 shorting the market. Uh, not really. I'm hedging the my 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 portfolio lah. Basically, I, I'm hedging my portfolio. What if the thing drop uh, by twenty? Drop a lot nah. I don't know, right? <coughs> okay, I don't know, right? So. What I'm saying is, I don't know what's gonna happen. You know, I'm not like uh, some of you take opportunity to sell. Some of you take opportunity to buy. Okay, so the cues you're gonna use is definitely your valuations, lah. Okay, but we from what I see, ah, uh, the Bitcoin uh, and all the coins, all the funny, funny coin out there, uh, doubling, tripling, uh, quadrupling in so many short time, ah, uh, I think the easy money is back in. But I don't know what they are gonna buy after this, ah. Uh. That, that's why I a bit blurry. Really. Last time they buy the ARKK, right? ARKK they buy why? Because last time got uh, COVID, everybody cannot go out, so everybody had to rely on technology lah. Bopian mah, so technology has to be the one that brings the thing ah, like Zoom or that, right? Is Bopian? Then Google make the Google Meet, then uh, Microsoft make the Microsoft Teams. But Microsoft ah, wow, them amazing ah, the 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 way they uh. Until now, I, I I don't know how 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 they can make it until so so amazing. Uh. The teams uh, suddenly come out, then they bundle it together. Fuck man, <laughs> they, they bundle it uh, hard to win. Uh. Microsoft is very hard to win. Uh. I just realized that the bundle is very powerful because you you the because it's cheap. Like, if you think about it, the Microsoft three six five right, then you bundle together with the teams and all that. Wow. That means the every every business out there is gonna give one to for their employees, ah, for sure. And I mean that's what I would do, lah. Right? You have to remember, ah, down there in the US, ah, in the Europe, ah, a Microsoft Office is very expensive, you know. It's not cheap, man. Okay. So I think SPY, I already cover, ah. Actually, I want to tell you one thing. Ah, uh, I think yesterday I saw the TNX, the ten-year treasury. They never come down a lot. It's still three point nine two. Yeah, it's still three point nine two. Yeah, so it it is still not. It's still not not not. You know what I mean, right? Like, it still never come down. We expected it to come down. I got one time three point eight something, huh? But then never come down. Keep wait. Still, that means it's quite strong. Ah, uh, the three point eight resistance here. Three point eight something. Okay. Uh, this one is actually very bearish uh, for the, yeah, it's bearish for this thing. If it keeps for the yield, uh, it's a bearish uh, symbol. It keeps going down. It's a uh, downwards, uh, downwards moving symbol. Okay, so basically, a lot of people uh, are buying the ten-year treasuries. Uh, okay, so, okay, so there are two two ways to look at the whole thing now. Okay. So everybody say the Fed nah, uh, 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 fucked up. They pivot too fast. Okay. Now another one of the thing is one guy say is my theory is a eh, inflation understated for elections. Uh, job numbers revise all the way ah uh, downwards. Eh up job revise downwards every time. So that means overstated. Inflation numbers, most of them say is fake. So they all say, they all think the inflation numbers is too low and it's lowered so that the Fed can actually lower the rates for this year. Okay, what is all this done for elections? Okay, now a lot, a lot of people are starting to get it. Really, they think, oh, if you fake the inflation, really, right? On the downside, lah. That means you understate the inflation, and then you are going to lower the rates, ah. 
and you may be going later to QE again to QE into an overstimulated economy where inflation is already very high okay you are definitely going to get what more inflation lah fuck right you already got inflation and then you lower the rate some more that is an expansionary policy what they're gonna get more inflation right that's like the crude oil uh, came back up from 60 uh, from 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 70 something i think uh from 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 60 something 68 then it came back up so the moment uh powell said that we are going to reflate the market right i would say reflate nah, or he said gonna cut interest rate. i say he's reflating the market okay so i think it's a reflation lah. that's what this is called the reflation uh theory lah. and this one is i see i observe and i eh, I straight away see it. Oh, this one is going to reflate because you fake the interest and eh, you fake the inflation. That means inflation is already high, but you fucking canina, you 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 still lower the interest rate some more just because you want somebody to win the elections. That you're going to cause the inflation to go back, jump up back again to five percent, six percent. Yeah, but and then you're going to cover it up again, uh, right? But then if you ask around uh, the USA, uh, any American friends that you have, does the inflation make sense? No? When you go to groceries, uh, pre-COVID pre and now, what's the difference? Does it tally up? No? If they say, most of them will say, oh, nope, no, that doesn't tally up. Because some of them, you go groceries, they go back here and there. They, say, they, think, they think they have doubled, you know. The prices have doubled, you know, groceries, pre-election and now. So a lot of people say, we don't think it's five percent, six percent, or seven percent election. We think it's more the inflation, not election. Inflation. Okay, so there's definitely much more inflation than they what they are letting out lah. One hundred percent. Cut my balls. Okay. So what's happening? Okay, credit card debt is going up. So usually you don't go to buy, use credit card. Credit card is a last resort, right? What does that mean? Okay. The people's disposable income uh, is already getting wet. Okay, so with this inflation later, with this uh, deflation trade, it comes, it comes with cost, right? Number one, will the wages rise fast enough not to counter this inflation? Okay, number two, if wages do rise and later you reflate again, it's gonna cause inflation. So wages have to go up again, right? Okay, this is gonna cause your country to be very expensive to produce at. You understand not? So most people uh, don't want to do is everybody say China deflation is bad. No, China deflation is good. So they can produce their goods cheaper. USA eternal inflation is bad because you're gonna have to pay more for the wages, you're gonna have to pay more for the brand, you're gonna have to pay more for the uh, transport every little shit in usa is going to be more expensive is this going to work the answer is no it's not going to work right there's still going to be imports right from mexico right so instead of china it's going to be mexico next right uh that's what i believe lah, at least okay so what's going to happen well there is second theory is or concurrent with the theory is okay we're gonna have a we're gonna have a you know some sort of recession right we're gonna have a hard landing so second part is hard landing right so that's why the bonds uh, everybody bought the five percent but 10 year bonds now everybody is buying the 10 year bonds they think that hey we're gonna have a hard landing eh? okay but is that is it the right thing to buy the answer is no okay the answer is no right we, because right if you keep printing money if you keep putting money in asset prices are eventually gonna go up faster than putting your money in bonds so now is the time to buy assets not 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 uh putting your money in bonds not put yourself in money right look at look at look at vt the moment the v, the vt uh, the vt right when I say buy VT, buy VT, buy VT, I'll even made a video, uh, 
Okay, after he say cut, he go he going to cut. He's going to cut the rates, huh? After Powell said he's going to cut the rates, huh? It was eleven twenty six. I said bye, bye, bye. I mentioned many times bye, 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 bye. Go and take a look at my previous videos. Bye, VT. So I check it for you all. It's not I anyhow T come T come for you, you know. It's not I anyhow say, eh, buy VET be because uh I T come T come I think it's gonna go up. I check for you D. I did the analysis for you D. Right. I did the analysis for you D. Okay? Then what happened? See the price now what happened? In a few days, right, if you follow my advice, huh, that's ten percent ED. Is it ten? Yeah, roughly ten. Huh? Okay? Look at crude oil, what happened? Five days. In a few days, if you bought crude oil, you would have earned about five to four percent ED. Right? GLD. How about gold? Right. In a few days. You wouldn't have earned much, but you earn a bit lah. <laughs> well, silver. Okay. So you gotta look at the metals and different stuff, right? Silver. In a few days, you would have earned. Uh, seven seven percent lah, give or take. Seven to seven to ten percent lah, give or take. Okay, so I like I like silver better than gold lah. Okay, uh, whenever silver go to twenty or eighteen lah, it can buy di. For me lah, at least. Okay, twenty two I won't buy. Twenty I buy. Right, I missed this yesterday lah. Fuck. Okay, so what happened? This is called the reflation trade. Right, a lot of people are saying ah. Okay, so Jerome. When Jerome Powell talked the time I was asleep, uh, fuck, I, I never expected it to have such a big impact. Okay. But I managed to get my VET la, uh, quite cheap. La. Uh yeah, I share my picks la, with, with you all. Okay. And as long as you all uh when you are welcome to argue your way with me, la, but you must argue in a proper manner. La. Right. So for example, let's say you don't believe what I'm saying. Uh, you say that, ah, fuck you lah. Uh, I don't believe you. I don't think this is going to happen. Then you state your 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 your, your reasoning why why is it not going to happen, right? Okay. So I'm always open to suggestions. Uh, because the market is a, is a bubble. Uh, it's a huge pot of uh, probable events happening left and right. It's not only one event. Uh. If only one event, you host say it. Uh, surely make money. I don't think it's only one event la, for me. It's a lot of events, right? The, the the whole market is made up of a lot of events. La. So you shouldn't just think that the market is made up of one event. La. Okay? So I'm just stating the events that can happen. So it's not a bad idea la, to watch the, 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 the doomsday pawn, all that thing. Like what? Um, Adam could say, don't watch the Doom Days Pond and all that. Actually, you should watch because it's a possibility. Okay? And you see the possibility, like he talked like that, he said, wow, I'm gonna die. La, la, la. Does it make sense not? Does it make sense not? Does it make sense not? You see? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta use valuations to check. Does it make sense not? Right? For example, Spy, the PE is 24. Hmm, 20, 20, 20, 24. Well, does that make sense? Not? 1 divided by 24 is... 4.16%. Right. So does this make sense? Hey, it does. Why? Because the TNY is only 10 years is point uh, uh 3.9, right? 3.9. 3.9%, right? Meanwhile, the this one is 1. Point 1 divided by 1 the 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 the, the return of 1 divided by 23.92. So that's 4.2%. So I rather buy the SPY than put my money in the ten years, okay? Now, but then you 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 come back here and then you look at the ten year. Uh, it's very important, uh. This is the one of the most important charts you can get, uh. So you look at this. So where are you gonna put your money now? If me, if it's me, I won't I won't be buying ten years, because the spread is too high, and it's inverted. Why should I buy something inverted? It doesn't make sense. So what I would do is, I will buy the 6 month treasuries, that's the best for me. I lock in the 5.35%, right? And, uh, you know, 
well i lose out maybe 0 0.16 is that's not a lot to me okay so why is this so inverted i heard that the treasuries they are financing themselves with uh, the 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 short-term treasuries so they issue a lot of short-term treasuries that's why it's inverted so this is inverted by design uh. okay it's inverted by design what does that mean well that means right they are willing to pay such rates for short term only they are not willing to pay short such rates for long term that's why they never issue the 10 year treasuries uh, at 4% or 4.2 they never issue a lot or 5% at a time right but they issue a lot of the short term treasury so you all must understand uh, what 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 kind of implication it means it means that the US government uh, they are not willing to pay such a high number for long term they are only willing to pay maybe until this year only right yeah you know what i'm going to pay until this year until i'm going to lower the rates i don't want to pay so long uh. crazy i pay so long uh, so there is a it's just momentary only you can get this 5.5 percent uh, momentary only after that they want to win why because they won't be able to pay back the debt if they increase the thing too much the interest expense is too much for the budget you all understand not so you must understand the implications of this yield curve okay So what does that mean? Should we buy the 10 years? Uh, there are other investments later that if you want to mimic bonds, uh, I am going to tell you. Uh, but then a safety uh, trade will be one uh, that focuses on commodities and one that focuses on the bonds, uh, I would say. Some sort of a uh, bond uh, replacement. Uh. There's a lot of bond replacements out there. Uh. Preferred shares can be a bond replacement. right? I buy a lot of preferred shares. My preferred shares went up a lot, you know. And some of them are leading about seven percent, and they're pretty safe, like, I would say. How you know safe? I check really the. So the things I recommend is not, tikam tikam, uh. okay. It's not anyhow anyhow. I I take a knife and poke and I just see. Oh, it's cheap more. Oh. Okay, let's buy this. I'm not AK seventy one, oh. okay. Or, or let's just say I'm the real AK seventy one, not the fake one you see on the internet. That guy is fake lah. Where got where, where got anyhow tikam tikam the rate like that? Wow, I see it. Wow, siapa this guy? The first thing you must look at uh, is the coverage uh, for preferred shares. Can the company cover or not? Is the FFO enough to cover the? Uh, but this is US lah. Okay. Uh, I only deal with US. I don't buy Singapore. Singapore. I think Singapore is dino. Yeah, I think Singapore is dino lah. But then, <laughs> my my earnings are mostly in dino stocks. But then, yeah, uh, actually no lah. I just don't like. Uh, I don't think the Singapore is a good. Uh, for me, I don't think is a. Uh, it's not dino lah. I would say it's not suitable for me lah. Let's just say, because we have tax treaty with the USA. I think the withholding tax is only fifteen percent instead of thirty percent lah. That's why. Okay, I guess, yeah, I'm going to make same say a few for you. Lah. MAA, the preferred shares is not bad, this one. This is quite decent. It's reading about 7.5%. Okay, another one is the EPR. Okay, this one I do with it. EPR is safer, by the way. Uh, dot, oh, must cross like that, PR. PG, uh, PG, PC, PE, all these three. I think one of them is callable. Uh, you better check. <laughs> the 8% one is callable. So don't buy the 8% one. Buy the other, the other two. Okay. The coverage is very good for EPR. Uh, I will go through with you later. Uh, this uh, next video. Okay. I have to send my kid to school. Really. Thanks. Uh.